To begin with, I want to show this picture to you all. Yes, as you see the picture here, people only see the result, not process. One more time, people only see the result, not the process. However, as you see the picture here, people have to overcome all difficulties to accomplish their goal by faith. So while I was seeing this picture, it reminds me of our Christian life. Especially, we should keep our faith in God in order to accomplish God's calling and God's plan in our lives. Therefore, as you are Christian, we might overcome our difficulties, but not for ourselves, but for God's glory. One more time, we might overcome all these kind of difficulties, but not for ourselves, but for God's glory. So God wants us, our face, nothing else. Yes, face is all we need. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Yes. Especially today, we can find someone who has kept his face in God. Therefore, let us maintain on God and faith through the passage. So let us read book of Hebrew chapter 11 verse 4 one more time. When you read this time, think about faith. Ready, go. By faith, Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice and came through which he was commended as righteous. God commanded him by accepting his gifts, and through his face, though he died, he still speaks. To begin with, let us find out the background of the passage today. Especially, we should remember the first audience, the first recipient of the passage today. In other words, the author of Hebrew, he wrote this passage to someone. So who is it? Yes, the author of Hebrews, he wrote this passage to some Jews, some Jewish people. At the time, they were religious people, but not faithful ones. Unfortunately, they did not understand the salvation of God. To be specific, they strongly believed that they could own their salvation by their own works, not by faith. However, the author of Hebrews, she encouraged them to remember that their salvation was by faith, not their own works. In other words, the author of Hebrews, he wants them to focus on faith. Focus on faith. Therefore, the author of Hebrew, he gave examples of faith. Example of faith through Hebrews chapter 11. In other words, he wrote, he introduced different models of faith through Hebrews chapter 11 in order to remember the faith. Remember the faith. Especially today, we can find one example of a model of faith in the passage today. So who is a model of faith? Yes, it is Abel. It is Abel. To understand the passage today, we should remember the background of the story from Genesis. For example, let us read the book of Genesis chapter 4 and verse 1 to 2. So let us read beginning with verse 1. Ready, go. Now Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have gotten a man with the help of the Lord. And verse 2. And again she bore his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep and Cain a worker of the ground. At the time, Adam and Eve, they bore two children. The first one is called Cain. At the time, Adam and Eve, they believed in God's promise for their children. 
In other words, Adam and Eve, they are longing for their children. Therefore, they call Cain as, I have gotten a name with the help of the Lord. It means that here is he. Secondly, they brought a second child called Abel. Abel it refers to brief and brief. Especially at that time, Cain he was a work of the ground, and Abel was a shepherd who kept their flocks. So what happened to Abel and Cain? What happened to Cain and Abel? Let us continue to read verse 3 together and ready go. In the course of time, Cain bowed to the law an offering of the fruit of the ground. At that time, it was a time for worship in the course of time. Therefore, people, they needed to prepare their offerings as their acts of worship. So Cain, he decided to bring an offering of the fruit of the ground. Since Cain was a worker of the ground, therefore he knew what are the best grains for the offering according to his own way. So he brought some of the ground in order to offer the Lord. However, Abel, he was different way with Cain. For example, let us read Genesis chapter 4 and verse 4. Ready, go. And Abel is the brought of the firstborn his flock and of their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering. Yes, Abel, he brought the firstborn of his flock and of their fat portions to the Lord as an offering. Especially Abel, he remembered the word of God. He remembered the word of God. To be specific, at that time, God commanded people to offer the blood sacrifice offering as their atonement. In other words, they had to shed the animal's blood in order to receive the forgiveness of their sins from God. Therefore, Abel, he remembered and obey the word of God. He obeyed the word of God. So Abel, he prepared the firstborn of animal for God. Of course, the firstborn of animal and the fat portion, it might cost a lot, so he could save it for his life. But Abel, he decided to offer the precious offering to the Lord. In other words, Abel, he offered the sacrifice offering to God by faith. So after both Cain and Abel offered the offering to God, God only took one of them. God only took one of them. For example, let us read verse 4 one more time. Ready, go. And Abel also brought the firstborn of his flock and of their fat portion, and the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering. Yes, the Lord, he decided to take Abel's offering instead of Cain's one. In other words, the Lord accepted the offering of Abel. To be specific, God chose Abel, not Cain. Therefore, Abel, he was chosen by God. So you understand the background of the passage from Genesis, right? So let us read Hebrew chapter 11 and verse 1 one more time. Ready, go. By faith, Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain, through which he was commanded as righteous. God commanded him by accepting through his face, through his eyes, uh, his tears, he speaks. First of all, the author of Hebrews, he remembered Abel's face, Abel's face, who brought the blood offering to the Lord. Therefore, the author of Hebrew, he mentioned this word more, can you say together, more? 
Yet he used the word more in order to compare Cain. Especially when the author of Hebrew used the word more, it refers to something of greater value. Something of greater value. In other words, the offering which Abel brought to the Lord was a greater value than Cain in God's eyes. In God's eyes. Of course, God also took great offering in the Old Testament. However, at the time, God wanted the atonement, the blood offering, first as their actual worship. Therefore, God decided to take Avery's offering instead of Cain's. Also, God called Abel as righteous one as like just one. Can you read the red color together, red go? Through which he was commended as righteous. Righteous. So who is the righteous one? Especially we can find the righteous one from the Old Testament. For example, let us read book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4. Ready go. Behold his soul is puffed up, is not applied with him, but the righteous should live by his face. The righteous should live by his face. At the time God commanded righteous people to live by faith. Live by faith. In other words, righteous people must practice obeying the word of God and trusting God and his conventional promises. One more time. Righteous people, they must practice obeying the word of God, trusting God and His conventional promises. Therefore, God called Abel as a righteous one. Since Abel, he obeyed the word of God and keep his faith in God. Therefore, God testified his face in public. He said that through which he was commended as righteous. Commended as righteous. Furthermore, every face spirit speak to us. So let us read the let it come one more time together, red go. And through his faith, through his die, he still speaks. He still speaks. Yes, Abraham's faith still challenges our believers. Unfortunately, Abraham, he died because of Cain. In other words, Cain keep Abraham since God took his offering. For example, let us read Genesis chapter 4 and verse 10. Radical. And the Lord said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground. Likewise, God was angry with Cain who killed his brother Abel. Therefore, Abel's blood was crying out to God from the ground. Likewise, Cain, he tried to hide Abel's cries, Abel's face from the ground. However, Abel's face still speaks to us. Even though Abel died from the ground, Abel was still in God's sight. In other words, Abel still bears witness to the life of faith. The life of faith. Therefore, Abel he became a model of faith as time when by. So today we maintain on a model of faith Abel, Abel's face. Yes, God took Abel's offering because of his face. However, this story did not end yet since it teaches us to live as Christian once again. Live by faith. Can you say it together? Live by faith. One more time. Live, Live by, by faith. faith. Yes, we should live by faith as Abel lived 
by faith. Especially as God created as a righteous one, we also come to live as a righteous one in this world. In other words, we should continue to obey the word of God and trust God in our circumstances. Especially God wants to see the hurt, not the offering. In other words, Abel, he wanted to surrender to God with all his hurt by offering the animal sacrifice in the firstborn of it. No matter how much it costs or could use for him, sir, Abel, he wanted to keep his faith in God. Therefore, God saw Abel's hurt or faith. Abel's hurt or faith. Unfortunately, Cain, he failed to show his faith since he followed his own way of offering God. Therefore, God wants us to have the hurt of faith in our lives. The hurt of faith. In other words, we should live by faith in our circumstances. Especially, we can also find one model of faith in the New Testament. So who is it? Yes, it is the Apostle. For example, let us read 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 7. Radical. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. At the time the Apostle, he remained faithful to God in his suffering. No matter how he struggled with his trouble in his ministry, he did not give up. In other words, he only kept his faith in God. His faith caused him to finish his work for God's glory. Especially, not only the apostle keep his faith, the apostle, he also obey the word of God in his life. For example, let us read book of Luman chapter 1 and verse 1, read go, Her, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set a prayer for the gospel of Especially God called, God spoke the apostle to be set apart from the world in order to preach the gospel, Jesus Christ, to other people. Therefore, God called to him. God spoke to the apostle. And the apostle, he obeyed the word of God by faith. He obeyed the word of God by faith. In the same way, Abel, he also obeyed the word of God who called people to worship God by blood offering. That's why Abel, Abel he did not hesitate to offer the first fruit of a fat portion to God. Therefore, we should also live by faith in our lives, especially when we continue to obey the word of God and trust God, our faith will speak to other people as Abel did. In other words, when we keep our faith in God, when we obey the word of God, other people will see and remember our faith as well. For example, I want to share one missionary uh, his name is Jim Elliot. He was a missionary in Qatar. However, there are people who tried to kill him. At the time, he had gone in his pocket. However, he did not use it. Unfortunately, people killed Jim Elliot. Jim Elliot, he could save his life by using the gun in his pocket. However, he did not use a gun to save God's people. Yes, he only lived by faith, nothing else. Therefore, his faith also speaks to people as time went by. Especially, there is a famous quote of him. 
can live together with go. He is not fool who gives up what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. Even though he did not use the gun, his face, his action of face saved God's people. That's why his face still speaks to us as Abel did in the passage. The reason why I share his story is because God wants us to speak others through our face. One more time, God wants us to speak others through our face. Of course, God did not call us to be missionaries and serve people as Jim Elliot did. However, God calls us with a different plan, different calling, and God speaks to us about what to do in our life. So I have one question for everyone. So what is your God's calling? When God calls us, when God spoke to us, we only need to say yes to the Lord. Yes to the Lord. Can you say it together? Yes, yes to the Lord. As Abraham, he only obeyed the word of God in order to keep his faith in God. We should also obey and trust God's plan in our lives. For example, I want to share my story with you. Uh, this year, 2024, I picked up one verse on the first Sunday of worship here at the Ordinary Church. As you remember, we shared the Bible verse. So I pick up this verse, this verse from the Proverbs 16 and verse 3. It said that, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. Yes, God spoke to me to commit my work to the Lord and my plans will be established. Likewise, God wanted me to trust God's plan in my life. Therefore, as you know, I have been working hard here at Ordinary Cafe. I work midnight, and there are many people coming right now. And I'm serving the Lord here at Ordinary Church. Yes, I decided to commit my work to the Lord. I could not do it by my own strength. But he was able to do it by God's strength and His grace. And I am sure that God will continue to work in my life here at the Ordinary Church and Ordinary Cafe. The reason why I share my story is because I simply obey the word of God. Come in your word to the Lord. Likewise, God only wants our simple face, not our excuse. One more time. God only wants our simple face, not our excuses. Especially C.S. Lewis, he mentioned faith. He said that Christian faith becomes real when it is lived out. When it is lived out. Likewise, he encouraged believers to live out their faith, not just through words of mouth. In the same way, we should continue to live by faith in our lives. As God chose and pleased Abel's faith, when we continue to live by faith, God will also please us. Therefore, let us not give up, but let, her, let us continue to live by faith. Remember Abraham's faith, obey the word of God and trust in God's promises. Live by faith, all we need is faith. Can you read it together ready go? Remember Abraham's faith, obey the word of God and trust in God's promises. Live by faith, all we need is faith. Amen.